Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Um, I did a, or am doing, a big series on robots, and where I've told you that there exists, and, 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 and for my American audience, or my European audience, or even my Australian audience, they keep insisting that it doesn't exist. So today I'm going to talk about uh, innovation or technology that exists right now uh, that uh, is now sprouting up as businesses, at least around the United States. I haven't kept track around the world, but at least in the United States, where we're talking about automated restaurants, which then translates to automated kitchens. Now, it's no far, you know, fantastical concept, fantastic as in fantasy. That's where the word comes from. It's no fantastical concept uh, that uh, you have completely automated robotic uh, plants that manufacture cars or manufacture uh, furniture or manufacture even uh, modular homes. You know that already exists. So, I'm telling you that uh, there are restaurants popping up as sort of uh, tech sort of things. So, they, they do their funding, uh, they go into their uh, investment funding and they raise millions of dollars as a tech company. Uh, and what it is, is an automated restaurant. So, they have... Uh, they have a robot at the core or robots at the core of their business do most of the cooking most of the or maybe the robot does a preparation you know there's robots for pizza there's robots for salads there's robots for hamburgers uh, and so then the concept that I'm going to present to you now is the automated kitchen now you all say that uh, some women uh, have indicated that they would love to have the fully functioning female robot from Japan although a lot of people just uh, the, my Western audience my United States are my American audience including Canada keeps thinking that it doesn't exist but uh, I think the only thing that they're truly questioning, or I think you're truly in questioning, is that you don't believe that it is so far advanced that you, you know that you know it would appear like I'm a robot, right? You don't think that it's that far advanced. Okay. Maybe it's not as so advanced that you literally could sit in a room with a robot that I'm talking about and not understand that it is a robot maybe right however uh i really didn't say that it was a perfect robot i said that it is fully functioning so that it can cook clean say nice things and i said say nice things meaning that the ai is you know uh, presents stuff like hi how are you how was your day i missed you they already have all of that in the form of uh, light bulbs and uh, vacuum cleaners, uh, I'm, I'm not even joking, clocks that has a holographic rope, uh, holographic, uh, uh, what do you call those? Um, uh, anime character that, uh, and, the, and the clock will call you on your cell phone and say, How, how's your train ride? Oh, I'm just sitting here. Yeah, you know, of course, it's a hologram. It, it's not going to do much of anything. But I'm talking about the automated kitchen uh, that can cook three-star meals, that can prepare. And I mean, people say they want to purchase a robot that can cook and clean, right? And do uh, stuff. And that's fantastic. Uh, however, you haven't done it before. And the market, the retail market, for an automated kitchen is almost non-existent now. Uh, is that on your part or is that on the part of the people who are in business? 
let me present to you the idea. If you had an automated kitchen, you would never, only, only rarely, you wouldn't even go to Burger King. You wouldn't even go uh, for the dollar menu at McDonald's if you had an automatic kitchen. Now, I'm talking about a automated kitchen that can customize each and every meal. Where you buy, the now you don't even have to go anywhere. Amazon can ship it to you. You get the ingredients, even fresh ingredients, delivered right to your door. Uh, and you then simply provide, provide the robot or the automated kitchen with the ingredients and poof pops a hamburger meal. Poof pops a complete Chinese meal. Poof pops a Mexican meal. Now, uh, to various, various degrees, this already exists. Uh, to such a degree that the let me uh, tell you, the automated robot that uh, prepares meals uh, in a bowl, that restaurant that's popped up, I'm sure probably if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen that one. That's already available for the consumer market. Did you know that? Well, here, here you go. I'm telling you. Uh, it is in a, in a box the size of a very large... Uh, you know, like those popcorn uh, poppers that you see at the fairs, they're, they're just a little stand and it has a box and it's about that size. Once again, you put the fresh ingredients into a thing, you put it in inside of this uh, machine and the machine cooks and prepares a plate, uh, a restaurant quality plate for you and you literally click a button and you go sit down somewhere and ding it's ready and there you have you have your nice it's Chinese so it has you get your nice Chinese meal ready to go that is just one of so you could have ten of those uh, prepare all sorts of stuff so you could each and every night uh, eat uh, something completely different or eat every day when you know, three times you could have a, a perfect meal every now that is just the automated kitchen so the the robot uh, at this juncture uh is a moot point as far as cooking and cleaning right uh, we already know that the cleaning is already automated you have the automated vacuums and there each and every day a brand new company comes out with a brand new uh automated uh, vacuum cleaner and and now and i told you in one of my earlier videos that they have uh, completely automated robots that uh, they like two college kids came up in Japan I don't, I don't think you under quite understand how advanced Japan is I don't I, I just don't believe that the, the people in the United States understand or has a a solid grasp of just how odd and they and they uh, love it so much that they really dive deep, deep, deep into it, right? So the country uh, is has all sorts of social problems. So w when they find something that can take alleviate them uh, of any sort of concept of having to deal with each other, uh, they take it. And the whole robotics part is the thing that re they really dive headfirst into. So they have all sorts of automated things. Uh, uh, there's automated McDonald's over there, automated uh, everything, restaurants, uh, every sort of, sort of, any sort of automation that you would even think of. Uh, it, all the way to the delivery system, robots delivering to the, there's a fully uh, automated restaurant where you literally come in, they have a greeter because they still want somebody, some human to greet them. They have a greeter at the counter and they go into the restaurant and from there on out, it's all robotic. Robotic to the point of there is a conveyor belt that uh, delivers your food and you order your food by touchpad. You never see a waiter. You you know you never have to deal with the human interaction uh, just unless you just absolutely want to, right? You know? And of course my, and he's leaving his car like that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, whatever.